On the first point, Ellie's question about immigration. I think the key thing here is control. It's democratic control. I'm actually a supporter of economic migration. I think this country benefits from the energy and enterprise of people who are prepared to leave friends and family behind and come, and those are exactly the people you want. Right? And I think historically we've done very well out of it. And I think we should also, because we are, uh, as, as Eddie reminds us, human, we should always make space for a component of people who are in need of sanctuary. But it's about control. If I'm going to make those arguments here in my constituency, people are prepared to accept it. All they ask in return is a sense that we are ultimately in charge of roughly who comes in and roughly in what numbers. And as long as we're in the EU, they have no such sense. And I think that there is a real unfairness here to precisely the people that Ellie was speaking about, the non-EU people who are trying to come here and who have suffered from the most extreme crackdown in the visa and migration regime because we have had to free up unlimited space for 500 million EU passport holders. Like every other elected politician, I have constituency cases every week from constituents of Commonwealth backgrounds who now find that, you know, they can't bring relatives over for weddings. I mean, never mind to settle here, just to visit, because we have so viciously cracked down, because there's a practical upper limit uh, uh, to the amount of space, on people who are connected to this country in order to free up space for people who are not. I think that's immoral. I come back to the, uh, the people who volunteered for us in the two wars when we were most in trouble. Families of those men now can't come in, in many cases, because they happen not to have the magic EU passport that, te that gets you to the front of the queue. I think that's wrong in terms of ignoring who our friends are. But I also think it makes no economic sense that we are in practice turning away qualified computer engineers, doctors, and so on from Commonwealth countries in order to free up unlimited room for people who may have no qualifications but who happen to hold EU passports.